not long into this second leg of the PlayStation final now and if you have just joined the aggregate score is 3-1 to Dito or Deto some may say Carl Wallen the German champ that's been around for so many years since 2016 he made his day or 2006 sorry he made his debut and you know he's been, he's been quite impressive in this final yeah he has been impressive he is riding the wave of momentum from that semi-final where he, he picked up a 6-2 aggregate victory over uh, Fredberg who uh, he finished pretty pretty well in the group stage and made him look quite ordinary in that semi-final Deto finished second in the group seven points behind the person he's playing right now Aggie who finished top on ten points and this is the first time that Aggie's been behind in a game all tournament long he's uh, undefeated so far it's normally conceded many goals as well Richard you know he only conceded one in the group but he conceded three he went three nil down in that first leg remember all these finals are two legs we've still got an Xbox final but the, the basic the, the headline of this game is that after these what we're talking 75 in-game FIFA minutes there'll be one of these competitors will be booking their place in the grand final of London three hundred thousand dollars up for grabs or two hundred thousand for one winner when up takes one hundred thousand dollars as well and what well, that's life-changing money yeah huge amounts of money and that's the way that we're going with the current um growth of esports you can see underneath aggie on the right his face cam you see psg in front of his name for people who don't know what that means brandon explain a little bit about why he's got psg in front of his uh, game attack and that would be because you know psg have got their own esports team believe it or not it's the 21st century thing esports is getting bigger and you know, the way that fifa's moving with it, the bigger prizes the bigger cash prizes here comes aga now with ronaldo tries to feed that one out to pogba but he is one of the three representatives of PSG Rafifa from Brazil will be in London uh, PSG Dax couldn't make it through on Friday in the interactive World Cup qualifiers in Munich he was a uh, knocked out um, and I think it was Tasta went through in the end but you know hasn't gone well for him he's had a lot of pressure on him this year he was at he was in the Xbox side believe it or not in the Paris regionals um, back in season one he was in the group of deaf people would say but the Bullock and Vitazzi Rocky came out of that one and then he went back to PlayStation side and then went to Madrid and came bottom of the group there and went out of hashtag Boras as well. So it hasn't been the best year of foot for him. You know, he's been used to the head-to-head. -head. Remember, this guy did win the Interactive World Cup in 2014. Here comes a chance there for Neymar. Just, that one's blocked. But this guy knows what he's doing. Yeah, he's playing some of his best FIFA coming into this tournament as well. He, we said it earlier, he walked the group almost. Ten points from a possible 12. An excellent defensive performance. Only one goal conceded in the group stage went to the semi-final another very solid defensive performance beating benedict salsa of wolfsburg two goals to one in that semi-final and the first leg we didn't see much of it with the technical difficulties but it looks like the defensive performance just slipped a little bit through his fingers conceding three goals early i believe he went two nil down within 30 minutes it was a crazy one i think Deto, he gets goals. He won the first semi-final as ball comes in there. He won it 5-0. Ball bounce around right in the box. That one's just kind of half-heartedly chipped, it looked like. It wasn't even a, a proper shot. But if anyone is watching this, this is ultimate team. So basically, these players will turn up, won't they? It'll turn up on Friday when they submitted their teams. And they can, pretty much as you said before, they're like in a sweet shot. They can have any player they want, any rating of what of what the card has been produced over the, the whole year of FIFA. You know, the, the SBCs, the the team of the year, the team of the seasons. Yeah, they've got a huge different array of cards to use in the game. Uh, this is a PlayStation 4, so the only cards that aren't available are the legends that will be in use later on in that Xbox final, I'm sure. You've got your likes of Rude Hullet, Patrick Vieira, they, they seem to crop up on the Xbox, but on the PlayStation 4, you need people who can fill in those gaps where the legends are available. You've got the likes of Engolo Kante, we see Thiago Silva in use from Deto, the first time I've seen him used i believe it was using lacazette the team of the season card that recently got was, um, introduced into foot the frenchman on the, is, is that marseille maybe is it far far in? uh to toivonen toivonen sorry yeah the the, the um, team of the season card as well very very well rounded card. interesting to see if he goes back to newcastle if they've just been promoted to the premier league i know he was on loan uh, in liga and you know everyone has their own choice everyone has their own style we need to remember not everyone just picks ronaldo oh no to be honest a lot of people do pick ronaldo and messi but other than that you know people have the different variations of course this is the playstation so no legends involved yeah we saw it yesterday with the bullock his main man up top was the squad builder challenge foot birthday fernando torres card the 91 rated there's so many different items as we so far into the year on ultimate team this year that a lot of a lot of cards 
they're the same rating, the 98, 99, 97. And it's just our personal preference which you want to use. We see different types of Ronaldo use. The, the 98 International Man of the Match Ronaldo, the, the 98 Striker card, what that enables players to do is drop him down to a centre midfielder, get extra chemistry with the likes of Team of the Year Marcelo, Team of the Year Ramos, that a lot of pros do enjoy using. It's just, it's an open market really for the players. And you know, it's a, it's just, it's interesting because this is a world stage. Everyone has their own kind of playing style on it, and there goes the half-time whistle, um, and that will be three-one on aggregate still. Um, for I believe it will be Dito still in the lead, but it just kind of sums up the way he's played. You know, he's no, it's like no shots this game. You know, he was dominant last game. You could say one three-one um, or three. Yeah, it was three-one. It was a late penalty. Um, that Aga did put away in the end. It was a save as well that came off the chest, but still went into the back of that penalty is a, a talking point this year in himself. But you know, this is where it's going to be interesting. You've got 45 minutes to save your chances of going to London. You know, yeah. Just looking at each other's tactics there. Yeah, we've seen uh, Deto using the 5-2-2-1. Uh, I believe, yeah, the 5-2-2-1. A lot of people like this formation later on in, in FIFA. It's been almost rediscovered. I remember a couple of years ago, 5 2, two one was a very strong formation that the pros like to use. It's almost resurfaced, come back to the back to the top of the board. Um, it enables you to get a lot of players behind the ball. And as we mentioned, with the higher rate of players, you don't need five to six players attacking at one time. You see players, they, they can really abuse the skill moves, abuse the, the shielding, the skill dribbling to create chances. And all you need sometimes is a 1, a 2 nil, and they just sit back with that 5. You two holding midfielders, you're usually going to see Kante, Pogba, Vieira on the Xbox, Hullet on the Xbox. Unbelievably well-rounded cards that the players who are this good at the game can really get to grips with. What if you think, you know, but look, he used Ibrahimovic, the 97 card. You know, he says to him, you know, we spoke to him in person, he was like, I like to use him. I like to go long to him. Use the LT, abuse the LT, he said, on the Xbox controller. Actually, get the ball down, use the strength he's got, and, you know, he can get goals as well. Yeah, let runners come up with him, the supporting midfielders. As we've seen, uh, Dito swap to the 5-3-2 now, just bringing off Toivonen and bringing on the, the extra midfield, the, the bite of uh, Roger Nangol and one of some of the pros' favourites on the PS4. You rarely see news on the Xbox with the legends that you can use, but on the PS4, if he's not in the starting eleven, you can much guarantee that he will be on that uh, bench. And Nine Golden, of course, was used for Principe yesterday, who has booked his place in London. He won the PS4 side of things yesterday, and what a tough route that was! As here comes Deso now, just trying to find a way through. I think that was Cristiano Ronaldo. He was trying to get through there, but. We will say about that magical 65th minute. When you're, when you're two goals behind, the goal comes before that 65th minute, you've got a big, big chance of getting back into this. Yeah, you usually see comebacks not only started but finished. If you can get that goal early in the second half, really put on the pressure on your opponent, make them think about what they're going to do. We've got Here a chance. Ronaldo, Ronaldo over chance, penalty shouts. That one's been waved away. You've got to think you were looking for the low driven there across David De Gea into the left-hand corner, but... Deto stands strong, 0-0. Neymar tries to just guess that one through to Ronaldo. You can't be guessing past at this time or in this stage of the competition. You look, you've done well enough to get here. You know, it's that next gear. We want to get to that next gear now. You need to start playing the way you want to play. You know, having a bit of purpose with your passes now. Not wasting possession and guessing. Yeah, it's too early in the second half to be forcing through balls, forcing the chip through balls, just to try and get a mistake uh, out of your opponent. I want to see if Aggie does change something. Uh, we've not really been able to have a look at his formation or the custom tactics that he's using as we, we're watching Deto's perspective over the action, but be interested to see if he does maybe swap to a three at the back. I remember in that final uh, in Madrid with Principe against Gorilla, Gorilla were down two, three goals. He switched to the three at the back. He got himself back into that game. Unfortunately, he didn't go on to fully turn around the game, but he made it a much tighter affair. And switching formations, it can help you. And what I've seen from today as well is, you know, Deto, he likes to play his own slow kind of play. He likes to, you could say this is the perfect time for him. This is where Aga could fall into, you know, the Germans' hands here. He could slow the game down. He can kind of just take fouls where he wants to. What a ball this is, Ronaldo, just to close up this game. And how's he missed that? Is that the weak foot, I believe, on the left? He kind of went for that, but still it's Ronaldo. Yeah, Should he finish in that? You can see from the shake of the head that he thought that was his chance to 
book his plane ticket to London with the 4-1 aggregate scoreline if that would have gone in. But Ronaldo just misses the target. That's very, very unlike Ronaldo. He is indeed the man that a lot of people say is the best finisher. And maybe Luis Suarez. So reliable, Some usually. people go for him either. But Nyan Golan now just bursting forward, trying to find maybe a... A 4-1 on aggregate, because it is 3-1 at the moment. Remember, there will be the Xbox Division final to come up later. Not too long after this game, but this is the second leg. And at the moment, it will be PSG Agger going out. The score is 3-1 on aggregate. This is the second leg. Yes, so he has paused it, and Deto is looking to see what Agger is doing with the substitutes. Maybe a formation change. Um, the five at the back, though. A positive or a negative for you, Brandon? Again, there's you know there's positives and negatives for a lot of formations, but I think for this one, it could suit Deto better than a number of players. You know, when you play five at the back, first of all, you're inviting pressure, but it's how you deal with that pressure. You know, a lot of people can have the backs against the wall, the likes of the Bullocks, the likes of you I see believe... Tash using the five at the back because he's so competent at defending. And he can, he can really counter-attack when people do push onto him. And if you play five at the back, it's just how you react. We can just see uh, some custom tactics being changed, of course, in German, so not everyone's going to be able to understand what that is. But could that be a little bit more aggression taken off or yeah, whatever, chance creation? Whatever flanken means in uh, German, Ooh. you have that all the way up to 90. So Was that maybe build-up play? You, you never, yeah, you maybe, never know. maybe aggression, chance creation, maybe. Um, I know that's around the middle of the custom tactics board. Agger substitutes. The main man, Lionel Messi, coming on for Gareth Bale. Could be a triple change. Deli Alli also coming on, the, the young player of the year card, the 91 Deli Alli. And this is the time where these substitutes could be heroes. You know, this is a huge chance to basically be involved in some life-changing money. And you know, if he turns this round, if he gets two goals, we will be going to Golden Goal. If Aga gets two goals in that red Danish kit, this will be a very exciting time. Yeah, he needs a goal in the next 10 minutes on me, Brandon, if he's got any chance of taking this to golden goal and extra time. You know, is this, this is going to be a very relaxed play now from Deto. He's going to slow it down. There's going to be question marks over the play style here. Is it, is it too slow? Is it, is it unsportsmanlike? Is it unsportsmanlike? Yeah, a lot of people could be watching this thinking, you know, is he playing in the right areas there? Is he being unfair? But, you know, you could just say he's just keeping possession well in the centre of the park. You know, he's not just you know going one two of the keeper every time and this could be the chance but this is going to be a stage now where Agger's going to get frustrated he's going to you know rush the ball he's not going to have a purpose in every pass now yeah he's going to be rushing into tackles trying to nick the ball back high up the field in this attacking third uh, Deto's defensive third if he does win the ball back and he's successful he's pretty much got a one-on-one -on -one chance but bringing the players forward you can see how unorganized they are at the back Carl Walker now what a card he is we'll come on to talk about him a little bit later but Carl Walker does pick it up again, just about, and Thiago Silva straight in there. A player we don't always see being used, Thiago Silva, but, you know, what great players. I think he could be linked up at, oh, it's a five at the back, of course, with uh, David Luiz in there, and that will be Sergio Ramos as he's just offside there. It's going to be a question of time running out now. A pause is used again. Yeah, sometimes it's not even a pause to uh, to make a change. It, it looks like Vidal could be coming on, I'd maybe say for, or it is Suarez for Lacazette. Maybe he smells blood in the water as Aga will be pushing on in this final period of the game. Suarez is coming on. This is just literally a simple case of sit back, counter-attack. Sit back, take the loss, or if I'm Aga right now, free at the back. Get everyone forward. Any more fresh legs we can get on, get them on. Instructions, get forward, get forward. Every single player, stay up while attacking. Get the full-backs up if you need to. And uh, he needs some kind of reaction. Yeah, he's got 15 minutes to, if he's got any hope of going to London, he needs two goals in this game. It's nil-nil this one, but the first leg did end three goals to one against Deto, uh, for Deto. And he has gone for three at the back, as we can see there. I think that could be Walker just filling in to the right side of the back line. Marcelo now into Suarez. Could this be game over? Recycled up to Ronaldo. and no. He's got a chance to counter-attack Agger. He needs to play this perfectly. Or Bamiang. And you've got three players left at the back as well there, Deto, I saw. You know, where obviously the other players are committing out the five. The three set and half were just still there, still there and thereabouts. And here could be good night. Ball across the box. And there's Ronaldo to close the game. Deto books his place in London. And that is 4-1 on aggregate.
Yeah, it looked like Aga just tried playing the offside trap there. There was so much space in behind for Marcelo. He made the run from deep, and as Aga played the offside trap, he just ran in behind. He was onside, and if you, if you don't time the offside trap perfectly, it can really, really cost you. And it has cost Aga in this one. He, he had to take the risk to try and play the offside trap to get the ball back from the free kick and was unsuccessful. It's going to be Deto joining. This other, is his PS4 compatriots in London. This is a case of his Messi now trying to maybe get a goal back, but I think that's done. You can see Aga there, not happy at all, just speaking to himself, just saying, you know, this isn't good enough, and unfortunately this won't be my year. But anyone that is wondering who Deto is, you know, you should know. He's been part of the German scene for a very long time. He competed in his first tournament in 2006, 11 years ago. You know, he's been a winner of the Cyber Games 2011-2012 and you know, some players take a break for a year, some players come back for another year and this year he was actually playing in, uh, I believe he was in Paris, came bottom of the group unfortunately on the PlayStation side but sometimes you need to lose to learn. Yeah, I definitely agree and for me, Ago was the favourite coming into this game um, given the, the semi-final tremendous performance against Salzo given that he won the group and he's been he's been to finals before he's even won the FIFA Interactive World Cup before Brandon Aga uh, in 2014 beating Dave by the way in Rio de Janeiro but it's not going to be his year this is a case of just frustration now he knows it's over and unfortunately that will both be PSG Aga and PSG Dax both the European players will not be making it to the London Grand Final and instead they'll be looking and supporting teammate Rafifa from Brazil the only America player out of the eight that went straight from Berlin into London and of course this is a five day European event finding 10 other out of 50 players and there goes the full time whistle Zeto has done it 4-1 on aggregate congratulations and more importantly commiserations to PSG Aga yeah it's, it's just not been his day this final um, maybe the gap in between playing the semi-final and the final could have could have hindered him um, Deto it was just such a strong first half performance in the first leg he went 2-0 up within 30 minutes in that first half and who is he going to be joining on the PS side for uh, on the PS4 side who's also qualified from this Munich qualifier Timon the Russian he qualified on uh, Monday I believe Principe what? as well Principe did qualify yesterday and on Friday it was Tony K from the PS4 side of it so he's gonna be joining some of the big boys like Shells and Timo and you know the list goes on of players you got the stranger in there Manica you know there's gonna be some great talent in there and it's gonna be interesting remember we're only building this list that was number player number 15 remember out of 32 player 15 has just booked his place in London for the grand final and we're gonna see the 16